Hey guys, Dote here. I'm just gonna say it. Gear-based matchmaking is not good. I understand why people wanted it, but we've already done this and seen that it doesn't work. Normal lobbies used to cap out at blue rare gear. The price of blue best in slot items skyrocketed and were more expensive than epics and even sometimes legendaries. I will give Iron Mace credit though. This system is a lot more in depth than that, so it doesn't ruin all gear levels. But if you're playing Dark and Darker, you have access to the internet and there's already a Dark and Darker Wikipedia that has all of gear levels, all of how it's divided by lobbies and everything else already published for the public to see. It's still not good. The only thing that'll make the lobbies feel better is if we get more players and if those lobbies are actually divided by ranks correctly instead of only having two pools below and above X rank. Gear based matchmaking can still be abused at a pretty annoying level and I did it one time just to show y'all that it's not good. And just as like a little disclosure, I still enjoy the game. I appreciate Iron Mace for all the changes that they're trying to do because they're trying to listen to the community, but I don't think that this is a good change still. Anyway, hope y'all enjoy. So I just decided to put a kit together real quick and make sure that I stayed under 199 gear score because that's the cap for the lowest lobbies that you can be in. And your gear score is determined by the rarity of your items. It doesn't matter what substats they have on them. This is the biggest problem. So far I have weapon damage on my rapier, armor rating on my buckler, physical damage on my straw hat, physical power on my survival bow, two truths on my gloves, and two strength on my boots. Then we got a heavy Gambizi with plus three dexterity and pants with once again, more strength. And then just to round it off, I'm gonna put a necklace on. I can't fit rings or a cape or I'll be above the gear score. And I'm only allowed to bring two junk potions and bandages and one stack of potions and one stack of bandages. That'll put me at 198 gear score, which is one under getting put into the next lobbies. And these stats aren't bad, 24 strength, 29 dexterity, 111 health. My move speed's a little low, but I have bard buffs, so it doesn't matter. And I have 20% PDR, and that's not counting both harmonic shield and my buckler with added armor rating. And then we get into our game, and what do we see? Everyone's in base kit. The only thing that isn't base kit about these people are their heals, and that this bard here had a necklace. That's it. And I only played one game like this, so I'm just gonna do the full playthrough of that game and I could have been the worst person ever and decided to run around and just look for people to kill but instead of doing that I just did my normal I'm gonna go to a boss and loot it and if I meet anyone along the way I'll fight them then because I didn't change my songs and I forgot to bring tranquility I'm just gonna go to cave troll and not do cyclops this game and I'm still warming up this is like maybe my second or third game so um, don't judge this first awful moment please Yeah, I didn't realize it was a nightmare and I was expecting to kill it in three hits and then it hit me twice. But um, there's a health shrine here, so it's fine. Everything's fine, right? Nothing even happened. And since nothing happened, we're just gonna keep going to Cape Troll. And as a side note, since I haven't said my perks yet, I have Charismatic Performance, Rapier Mastery, Warsong, and Superior Dexterity. I just wanted to go for full damage with both Rapier Mastery and Warsong for this.
And at this point, I realized that somebody was fighting troll. When I got closer, I started to hear the hellfires, and so I knew it was the warlock. So I just decided to wait to see if he actually killed it. Eventually, he did. It took a while, and I just sort of sat here. I eventually went to the other cave troll door and waited there, too. Yeah, I'm just going to skip most of this because it's like two minutes of me just sitting here. He's doing a great job, but this is just legitimately taking forever. And he finally took down Troll, so now it's our time to take him down and steal all the loot. He just used Bloodstained Blade, so I'm just going to try to keep my distance and use my survival belt. After I land a few shots, I'll probably go into melee. But after I landed a few shots, he was dead, so it didn't matter anyway. The Wanderer tire was pretty mid, but the spear is pretty okay. And this loot wasn't the best either. So now we check to see if anybody maybe killed Cyclops, and then we loot the pile. Wrong pile, but we did get three legendaries, so we're pretty set and good to go whenever we can. I am just going to push to zone and see if there's anybody else to fight real quick, and if there is, we will, but if not, we'll just leave.
I didn't like how dark this area was, so I was just making sure that I buffed before I walked in. There's sometimes a heavier nate in that spawn room, so it's worth checking, but since it wasn't, I'm just not worried about it. Somebody apparently just fought the centipede, so I'm just gonna try to see who it is. It was a bard. I just start shooting with my survival bow. He didn't know what to do and was trying to crouch to be friendly, and then uh, he just died. I'm sorry, little one. All right, then we're going to open the portal to be safe and then loot him. I'll drop one stack of arrows, but just in case there's another player, I'm not going to strap both. And you could be thinking, you just bought all this gear and he found something equivalent in the first game. Like, does it really matter? Yes. Yes, it does. The stats on his gear aren't optimized. Like, the sub stats just aren't good. Other than his necklace, which I do take in replace of mine. But other than that, there's a giant difference in the stats that we're receiving, even though all of my gear is green. I did take the necklace too because it had 36 luck on it and luck is fun sometimes. And then I just ran around and checked for more players and looked to see if there's more portals I could open. I didn't find any other players, but there were more portals. And since nothing else really happened, I'm just going to end the game here and give my final thoughts. I still do not like gear based matchmaking. I feel like if people abuse it and people are going to, it's not going to be fun. I'm probably just going to run in base kit with some heals and stuff because that's more fun to me than doing this. But I know that there's people who just want the AP and don't care about anything else and they're going to abuse the game in any way that they can. And I just wanted to bring this up as an issue because it is. And again, I don't want this video to be seen as a complaint against the game or Iron Mace in general because I still really like the game. It's a lot of fun. But when they're going through all these different processes of trying things out, it's probably good to see the bad along with the good. I know a lot of people are liking it too. And in some ways, I think it's a good idea. But at the same time, at the end of the day, it doesn't feel the best to me. All right. And that's just going to be the end of this video. I ended up leaving here with 1300 AP. It was only a thousand but it was a 350 entrance cost and if you enjoyed the content please just give the video a comment a like or subscribe to the channel anything and everything helps and i really do appreciate each and every one of you who do it and if you're wanting to join a community of other like-minded people who like dark and darker and other video games like it i'm gonna have my community discord linked in the description below feel free to click that come by say hey maybe group up maybe talk about what you both enjoy or don't enjoy about the game uh do whatever you want you don't even have to click it it'd be cool if you do though so yeah, that's it for today. I hope that you all have a great day and I hope to see you all next time. Peace.